Now we gotta put the trigger in. My game plan is this. Oh, and remember that the spring attachment is back on this side. So that little um, arm there that you see has to get attached to that spring. At the same time, I gotta put the triggers. The trigger has these fins. Can you see it on either side? Um, I'll point to the fins. Okay, right here. See, there's a fin there, and there's a fin there. A fin. Those fins slide in these channels right there. And, of course, there's another channel on the other half of the gun. So, we got to do three things simultaneously. Get that little arm onto the eye hole of the spring. At the same time, we got to put the fin on the, of the trigger in this, this channel here, this horizontal channel. And the third thing that has to happen simultaneously is we got to get this into there with this little knob sticking up. And, oh wait, I lied, there's a fourth thing you gotta do. You have to slide Dexter down so that that little channel in there is in line with this rod going through. So that is four things you gotta do simultaneously. If you just do everything but don't get um, this channel on, around the indexing rod, you'll put it all back together and you pull the trigger, it won't do squat. It won't shoot, it won't index. I'm gonna attempt to do those three, those four things and then once you do all four of those things you gotta make sure everything else stayed in place and then the real challenge if it wasn't our challenge enough is putting on the other half of the gun and hoping everything stays in position if it doesn't guess what you're doing alright quick tip um, while I was putting this back together um, the little spring that causes this little white uh, pole to go up and down the spring flew out and got lost God knows where and it's so small now, I've actually had to replace this spring. I, I found a spring of relatively the same size. And to make it not happen again, like with, with it flying out, I put a piece of clear tape over this whole, see this channel here? I put a piece of clear tape over the, t the top of it, essentially closing in all four sides. Well, the other three are plastic, and then the fourth is the tape I put over, so the spring won't fly out again. That spring needs to be there. Um, don't lose it. <laughs> Okay, you, what you can see me doing here is I'm pushing down the index rod. And what I'm going to do now, while I'm pushing this down, I'm going to get a screwdriver or something narrow and skinny and push that, um, what I'll just call the index controller, that little white thing that goes up and down there, that way. I'm going to go ahead and push it this way, hoping that this um, indexing rod will then fall in the groove. Okay, here's the last shot before I put it together of everything in place. Got that. We talked about that already. That is connected there. That's in place. That is holding the bottom of the uh, air tube. Air tube head is in the groove pointing into the back of the cylinder. Spring is there. The retention frame for the back of the air tube is in place. The spring for that is in place as well. Now here's the hard part, putting on the other side at the same time because this my thumb is basically holding everything together and we gotta put on the other side of the gun and get my thumb out without everything falling out of place. Alright, with some luck I was able to get it through, get it put together just as I was putting my thumb out I could almost sense the springs getting out of position, especially that uh, white index controller. But I slapped on the other half just in time. And now, as you see, that's good. Now we know that everything with a trigger assembly and the indexing rods in place, the index controller's in place, and, um, oh, and the trigger spring, obviously, because you see all the trigger springs back. Next couple things you want to check before you actually go ahead and screw it all back together is to make sure that the charging handle is actually making contact with the back, I mean the bottom of the air tube. Uh, we want to make sure that the recoil spring for the charging handle works. And the other thing, of course, is to make sure that the retention cage is actually holding back the air tube and hence not um, premature firing. And then, of course, when we pull the trigger, we'll see 
if it goes ahead and releases and um, we hear the puff of air. So, now how you would do this is remember at this point you're not going to have all the screws back in so you don't want to really have to um, go ahead, don't cock it hard or anything. But what you can do is by just pushing back on the pump a little, you can feel, you see, it's springing back already. So I don't actually have to go all the way back. I can just test it like this. And once you know that that's done, you can um, carefully go and do this, the, what we, the retention cage check by actually cocking it entirely. You hear the click, letting go, and you can see how that springs forward. So we know that's good. And the last thing to test is to see if by pushing the trigger, it releases the air tube. And there you go. So everything is um, checks out. And then you would go ahead and screw everything back together by putting the screws from where you got them. And the whole time you do this, of course, you want to make sure that you're holding the body together. So if you're screwing in the back here, for example, hold it in all the other spots while you screw. And then when you come up here, hold the back and screw there. You just don't want to have the two halves come apart. And once you get that all done, your gun is back working and you can now take advantage of the increased um, mainspring and the removal of the air restrictors and enjoy and uh, give them hell. <laughs>